morning, you're right. Um, gonna start a job today that I've been putting off for ages, um, and that's putting some rear speakers in the van. Um, the reason I keep putting it off is because <laughs> I bought some, <laughs> I've had them in the garage ages, just some Kenwood 30 watt, uh, 17 centimeter um, speakers, but I don't know where to put them because. Um, I'm just on an R in. I want, I want them in the back. I, I just don't. I've got space basically down here. I reckon to fit one. But then over on this side of the van, um, I've not really got any sort of space, you know. I don't want. Um, I don't think I've got enough space to go into this panel here. And again, the sound quality won't be that brilliant down there because it will be muffled. So I'm. I'm I'm thinking I've got to put one sort of just at the back there um, in the panel there so the left and the right are both going to be on the the left side but obviously the right speaker will be behind the passenger and the left speaker will be in front of the passenger um, but yeah I'm, I'm a bit stuck where to put them uh, so I'm going to have a think and then uh, <laughs> I'll make a start first one's definitely going here so I'm gonna I've cut out the, the template ready so the trouble is that I haven't got much room to work so I'm gonna pull this board forward so I can't cause any damage or anything and then work from behind and put light in I'm gonna mark it up here cut the hole out and then uh, and then we'll be good to mount that one there ready and there's plenty of access that I can run the speakers across here and then go under the cup pit with the wire. That'll be protected out of the way. Um, and then it's just down to thinking now I'm gonna where I'm gonna put the other one. <laughs> Still haven't decided. I've took the door off and I've marked up where I'm gonna fit that, so it's gonna be pretty much right at the bottom down here. So there's a call up. It's going to be pretty much down there, out of the way. Uh, so two, it's going to be easy to get these two screws in there. But then the far two screws, I'm going to have to get a quite a small screwdriver to get those in. But let's get the hole drilled out and cut. There isn't much room to work on, Drew. Yet, so it's a bit extreme close up. <laughs> with the drill so I've got marked out where the hole's gonna be so I'll cut that out now basically First one fitted. Uh, got the door back on now, so it's, it's just kind of out of the way down there. Once the front panel's on as well, not obstructing the bed or anything in any way. Going to say it just fits in nicely. So that's one. Mm -hmm. All right, 
I think what I'm going to do is make a speaker pod because this pulls out like that. So in theory, there should be enough room to make a pod to fit a speaker there, carpet that, and then that will sort of blend in. It won't look too out of place and it will be carpeted on all around it. And therefore, it'll just put throw a bit of noise in the back and uh, saves me having to cut another hole in one of the panels because a bit reluctant to cut one up there. Uh, as you say, it's not really in the way down there, but I think that one will just fill in that gap because it saves a, it's a bit dead space, really. That is, it's not really got a purpose. Uh, you know, there's nothing that's going to come in the way. I'll pull it out again in a minute and test, but I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to build a speaker pod. Just pulled the bed out, so even with the bed out, that would stay down there and be under the bed out of the way so it's just a case of mounting it making a frame so it can mount the speaker but it doesn't actually hit the, the bracket as it pulls out but I say I don't think that's going to look too out of place and once it's carpeted it'll blend in nicely with the, uh, the rest of the side and I've got a bit of carpet left from making the uh, stuff up on the roof so I'll go and do that All right. just initially going to cut a, a rectangle out and then uh, measure that up um, once I've got that just and then I'll have like a curve going around like this the dress is the wheel arch and then we'll have to cut out a section here to address the sliding bracket and then we're going to try and fit the speaker on there <laughs> and there should be enough space sort of right here to get a circle in there and I'll just make a side this side which will attach to the base of the rock and roll bed stop it falling over and then carpet it just nicely height wise so we're going to have to come across a bit near the top to clear this and these we have a gap there and then we're going to have to just curve it up then over the wheel arch so I'll get that marked out right we'll go and cut that out for starts for turn around that line there and then up to there and then uh, work it out from there that out now so I'm gonna make a side piece and then a top piece I've got some brackets ready and then I can carpet that and mount the speaker in that and it'll be pretty sturdy so we'll give that a go I'm just making the side unit at the minute and this has got a cut out bolt there the uh, section for the bolt that goes on the thing and then so I just need to I'll actually have cushioning um, carpet coming down there sorry uh, carpet down that side so we'll box the actual speaker a bit and make it stronger but that's that's looking like uh, it's getting there just testing now that it fits so there's a bit of a bolt down there so slide on like that that go like that carpet around there and the speaker side and then clamp it on but, um, for now I'm just going to go and uh, go and carpet that next
Okay, that's the speaker. Might as well sort of finish now. So, I'll put this mount the Kenwood in there, 17 in there. So, I'll just. fix that actually through the bed there at the side and then I don't think that looks half bad to be honest it, it fills that space uh, and I haven't had to worry about going into one of these side panels so yeah <laughs> quite pleased with that and then so the other one's mounted there so I'll do the wiring and um, the head unit uh, another day <laughs> but uh, that's it for today <laughs> okay <laughs> 